Welcome back guys, you are watching with us together. Yesterday I had uploaded a video in which I had demonstrated my study certificate in order to give you a brief idea about how your study certificate should be looking like in order to get verified in the document verification process which is a major part of KCET counseling 2023. When I was just going through the comment section of that particular video, I just came through a common comment which many people had asked regarding a video about the provisional marks card which is a buzz topic right now because for students who have completed their second PU under Karnataka State Board the official marks card which is the hard copy hasn't been out yet and that is the reason why people are confused about what document we need to produce in order to complete the document verification because the 12th class marks card is a must and should for your document verification. And for that, the solution is provisional marks card. First things first, what is provisional marks card? Since you guys haven't got your official marks card yet, whatever marks card you have to produce right now as a replacement for your official marks card, that is known to be provisional marks card and that will be equally valid like your official marks card itself. Then comes the question of how to get it or from where to get it. For that, the answer will be to go to your respective colleges where you completed your class 12th or your second PU. Yes guys, listen to me correctly. You should be going to the college which you completed your class 12th or second PU in and you should be asking them over there in order to provide a provisional for KCET counseling. Talking about how your provisional marks card will be looking like, it will just have a table in which uh, you will be having the marks which you have secured in your second PUC subject wise suppose physics it is 97 then chemistry it is 100 then biology it is 98 so this is how your provisional marks card will be looking like and then below that your principal or the head of the institution of the college wherein you studied your second PU they will be signing over there and they will be declaring that whatever marks has been mentioned over there is true to the best of their knowledge and that is one thing which is required for the verifiers in order to verify your document and then there will also be a seal of your particular college wherein you studied your task 12th or second PU and if you get that provisional marks card I think you should be sailing through the process of verifying your class 12th mark sheet guys and not to forget for students who have completed their class 12th from other boards such as CBSC or ICSC just like me you can just download your mark sheet through DigiLocker which is equally valid as per IT Act 2005 and you can just take a printout of that particular document wherein you will be downloading from DigiLocker and you can just produce it since it is equally valid as per 2005 IT Act guys. Still if you have any doubts then feel free to put it in the comment section so that I'll be able to go through them. Share this video with your friends too so that even they'll be getting a clear clarity about what actually is the provisional marks card and how to get it and how it should be looking like. With that note this is Darshan Eskoda signing off and we are brothers together. Thank you guys. Thank you. We'll meet in the next video. Bye.